Greetings, remnant brothers and sisters. This is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank those on Friday night in prayer meeting that prayed for me, and all my remnant brothers and sisters that, that continues to pray for my health. I slept well Friday night after prayer meeting. It was the best of experience sleeping for a while, and I continuously crave your prayers concerning my health. Bless the name of Jesus, so that the work of the Lord will not be ended. Bless the name of Jesus. I want to share some information on the young man that, you know, got the dream, the list. Remember, I did a video about him, you know, the list, where, you know, this young man is a young man that, you know, I was encouraging not to drink the apple juice, not to take the apple bite. And um, I did everything possible. I shared all the videos with him, you know, but he got a job opportunity and um, he went to his pastor, you know, who, you know, knows more than me, I guess, you know, more educated, more knowledgeable, more anointed, you know, I'm a nobody. And so he went to his pastor and um, sadly, his pastor encouraged him to go ahead because he at some point will, will, will take the apple bite also for traveling. And so this young man is like my mother's son. My mother took him as a son. So, you know, either way, he was like a brother. He was like a brother. Um, and so he went and he took it. And all over the place in the hospital, till the hospitals in Florida rejected him. You know, he got to go overseas. And from hospital to hospital, they, they, they send him to the best hospital that you could find in Florida. And the doctors there told him that, you know, if he makes it to December, he would live long. But they don't see it possible for him to make it to December um, because of the things that continuously keep coming back. They keep getting out some stuff, um, building up in his body. Um, and, you know, they, they, they keep coming back. And so... They told him, you know, they don't see any chance. And so he came back to Jamaica and um, started drinking a lot of bush, tree barks, and turning to the natural stuff, um, which sadly I wish he had did it the other way around. He should have turned to the natural stuff and not take the apple bite. But yesterday, yesterday, the 29th of October, uh, at midday, he died. Um, my mom, you know, it's, 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 it's sorrowful at this point, my brothers and sisters. But we are in the days of sorrow. Um, even my wife, she cried, my daughter, because he was a promising young man, but he was deceived. And um, I just want to pass that on to you. Um, I want to talk to you in this video. And there's going to be a part two. And it's not going to be the same name on this title. But it's going to be connected to what I'm about to share with you. And it's all about the word of God, my brothers and sisters. It's all about the word of God. Because, you see, what I'm seeing happening now concerning this war in the Middle East, it's truly creating the same problem that we have been experiencing from the beginning. Two sides. Two sides. Two sides. Cain, Cain versus Abel. 
Um, hmm. My God Almighty, Esau versus Jacob. You know, this two side. And so, you know, blacks versus white. Now, it's about, you know, Jews versus the others. This continuous two side. And so, back in COVID, it was the the V against the un-V. And, and, and it's happening again. Because even as I speak, there is a split also in the body of Christ. About, you know, which side are you on? And if you speak anything funny concerning Israel, you, you prepare to lose a friend. Prepare to lose a brother. Prepare to lose a sister. Prepare to lose subscribers because, it, you know, all these things are, are there to create division, my brothers and sisters. But what is the Lord saying to us in all of this? Because the, the key thing is to hear the Lord speak, you know, in all of this. And the Lord gave me a word, um, Jeremiah 35. And the Lord wants us to look at the retrobites, my brothers and sisters. I don't know how many of you have ever read this. And I'd love for you to share in the comment section if you have ever read this, read this before. And if you have ever looked into this before. Because honestly, I, I just came up on it. Honestly. This was just brought to me. And I've never looked in this. And I know that it was there in the Bible, this example, my God Almighty, so profound. But let's go into it. And I'm not going to read all of it for time, but my brothers and sisters, the Lord visit Jeremiah. And he told Jeremiah, he says, go to the retrobites and take them into the sanctuary. The Lord instructed the prophet. He says, set before them jars of wine and glasses. My God Almighty. But you see, when you start to read at verse 4, Jeremiah 35. And I brought them into the house of the Lord, into the chamber of the son of Anan, the son of uh, Idilia, a man of God, which was by the chamber of the prince, which was moved, sorry, which was above the chamber of Maasea, the son of Shalom, the keeper of the door. Verse 5. And I set before the sons of the house of the retrobites pots full of wine and cups. And I said unto them, drink ye wine. No, my brothers and sisters. If God sent a prophet in this time. To many of the houses. To many of the churches. With pots of wine and pots. I'm sorry. And many glasses. I, I, I put it to you. Many of the churches in this time would be having a drink off. Many would be so excited. This would, many would be get down drinking, my brothers and sisters. To the point where you'd have drunk brothers and sisters. I'm talking in this day and age. But watch this. Hear the response of the retrobites. Verse 6, but they said, we will drink no wine. They, they responded to the prophet. No, this, this is not an ordinary prophet. We're talking about Jeremiah. We're talking about Jeremiah. But they said, we will drink no wine. Why? For Jonadad, the son of Richard, our father, 
commanded us, saying, Ye shall drink no wine, neither ye nor your sons, forever. Verse 7. Neither shall ye build houses, nor sow seed, nor plant vineyard, nor have any. <clears throat> but all your days ye shall dwell in tents, that ye may live many days in the land where ye be strangers. Verse 8. Thus have we obeyed the voice of Jonadad, the son of Richard, our father in all, listen this, in all, like a scratch record, in all that he had charged us to drink no wine all our days. Hear this. We, our wives, our sons, nor our daughters. This was the retrobites. My brothers and sisters, the Retrobites was not prominent Christians. They, are, they were not known to be believers of that sort. Bless the name of Jesus. And here you have <clears throat> the Retrobites who, my brothers and sisters, who they were following the command of their father. To the point where. From generation to generation. From generation to generation. They said. We. And our wives. Our sons and our daughters. <coughs> all were following the command. <coughs> of their father. In our time, my brothers and sisters, there's a struggle to have this kind of house setting. There's a struggle to have this kind of lineup. Because you have many believers who accept that they are followers of Christ, but they don't even care or concern about what, what their children does. For example, you'll have believers that says, I don't follow Halloween, I don't support Halloween. But they will allow the nanny, you know, to take out the children to trick or treat, you know, let them have some fun. You have believers that <clears throat> don't believe in scary movies. They don't like those movies. But they will allow their children to be in another room watching Harry Potter and all these things. And so you find many houses, a house of confusion. And you have the father going one way, the wife going one way. You have a husband is, who is a leader or in leadership of this church, but his wife is in rebellion that, you know what, I'm, I'm a member, I want to go to that church, or I want to go all over the place. Dysfunctional. But here we have, my brothers and sisters, the Retrobites made sure that their father, their earthly father command is followed all the days of their lives. My God Almighty. So, verse 12. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Go tell the men of Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Will he not receive instruction to hearken to my words, said the Lord. I can't even imagine, my brothers and sisters, how the Lord feels. Using this example. Watching a set of people following the command of their earthly father to the T. From generation to generation, all the days of their lives. But looking at the, at looking and understanding, He God is the heavenly Father, the creator of all things, the sovereign, most holy one, and cannot get this result. I can't imagine what the Lord feels or how the Lord feels. My God. 
He says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and tell the men of Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. No, no, look, look, look at this. I was speaking in general a while, um, a while ago. But now the Lord is speaking specific. I want to point out the specificness. Jerusalem and Judea and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, will he not receive instruction to hearken to my words, said the Lord. The words of Jonadad, the son of Richard, that he commanded his sons not to drink wine <coughs> or perform, for unto this day they drink none, but obey their father's commandments. Notwithstanding, I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but ye hearken not unto me. I have sent also unto you, Hear, hear this. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way and, and amend your doings and do not, sorry, and go not after other gods to serve them. And they shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers. But ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearken unto me. Remember the last video that I did. The Lord is saying, hearken unto me, my people. Hearken unto me, my people. Hearken means listen. Listen unto me. The Lord is saying to his people, I have sent prophets. Even on YouTube, on social media, all over. The Lord is using his watchmen. The Lord is using his prophets. But the question is, are you listening? The Lord is saying, it is time for us to amend our ways. It is, my God Almighty. The Lord is saying, and go not after other gods to serve them. And my brothers and sisters, I guarantee you, I just believe with all of my heart. I believe with all of my heart. This young man who passed yesterday, if he had hearkened to the voice of the prophet, if he had hearkened to the watchman, the struggle is, my brothers and sisters, the watchmen are not coming in the farm that the body of Christ expected them to to. We may not look like what they had in their mind. We may not sound like what they had in their mind. The watchmen and, and the prophets. Because of the, the years of deception. Many who are looking, expecting a certain type of watchmen. And prophets. They will go and listen to the others. The wrong ones. My brothers and sisters. One of the requirements. To be a prophet in, in these times. Is you, that you have to be super educated. You, 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 your IQ have to be sky high. For people to take the time. For many to take the time to, to hearken to the voice of the Lord. And so it's not about the Holy Ghost. It's not about the Spirit of God in the person. It's about what many have in their mind. The expectation. You have to be so eloquent. You have to, the high cue has to be. The Lord says, I have sent also unto you. All my servants. You're not listening. Verse 17. To skip down. Verse 17. Read all of it for yourself. Verse 17. Therefore thus said the Lord God of hosts. The God of Israel. Behold I will bring upon Judah. 
and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. No, 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 hear this. Let me read this again. Behold, I will bring upon Judea and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil. Underline this. All the evil that I have pronounced against them because I have spoken unto them but they have not heard and I have called unto them but they have not heard answer this is the word of the lord this is the word of the lord none of this is my word bless the name of jesus no god says i'll bring evil upon them no my brothers and sisters <coughs> luke 21 verse 20 hear what it says hear what it says no, before I do that, before I do that, so the Lord pronounced evil upon Jerusalem and Judea, but the Lord made a promise at the end concerning the obedience of the retrobites. He says, because of their obedience, even though the command of, his, of their father, some of it didn't make any sense. To be honest, to be frank. But the reality is why the Lord acknowledged them is their obedience. What the Lord is searching for throughout the earth is the similar obedience unto him. The Lord is looking for obedience. The word of the Lord tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. The Lord says because of the obedience of this people. To the voice of their father. To the command of their father. I am going to ensure that there's always going to be a righteous retro, um, um, retrobite to stand before me. Meaning that I'm going to ensure that a remnant of the retrobites be saved because of obedience. And a lot of us really, really, really need to get it. More and more that we can only enter the pearly gates through obedience. We can only be truly saved. This word is critical. Obedience. Disobedience always gets us in trouble. Oh God Almighty. So, continue. St. Luke 21, something that, because I want to do a follow-up video. I don't, I'm not going to make this video too long. Because, you see, we need to look into these things. The Lord says all of what we are seeing has been foretold. We need to look in depth of what is happening. It's in the Word. And for all who believe that Jerusalem is untouchable, for all who believe that Judah is untouchable. For all who believe that this state that is no is untouchable. Hear what the word of the Lord says. As Jesus himself, it's written in red, prophesy. Jesus says, verse 20, And when he shall see Jerusalem, Compass with armies. Come on. <clears throat> now Jesus realized this one word, armies. You notice he did not say enemies. You notice that he did not say enemies. You know why? Because it's all about a mixture of those who would surround Jerusalem. America is there. America stands with Israel. America stands with Jerusalem. And even yesterday, <laughs> thousands of ground troops has been sent into Jerusalem. Gradually, others will be coming in. Eventually, the UN 
NATO nations will be coming in to support. And so, even this word is very significant. This one word, surrounded with armies. He says, when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh, meaning it is near, my brothers and sisters. We are seeing it now with our eyes. Verse 21. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Now for me this is paramount instructions. So when I saw videos yesterday of aeroplanes... Uh, Airports been, 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 been flooded with protesters searching for um, the Jewish people who are seeking to return to Israel. This is, not, this is not the instruction of the Father. If you are if you are a Jew or if you are a citizen of the state of Israel. What is really the instruction of the Father concerning this time? Because if, if, if we're going to follow the instruction of the Father, no one in their right mind, knowing the instruction of the Father, would be returning Unless you're trying to do a quick packing to leave again, if the time will allow you. Because what we read is that the word of the Lord says, flee to the mountains. Let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Get out. My God Almighty. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein. Those who are in the countryside, stay away. This is the Messiah. This is Jesus speaking, prophesying. Verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. And so, <laughs> let me continue. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land. And wrath upon this people. And so the distress has begun greater on the other side, Palestine. When I hear the news, my brothers and sisters. And a lot of believers will be offended if I even say this. But I cannot have the love of Christ in my heart. Thousands. Of innocent children dying day by day. As I also grieve for the innocents that through the, fl the false flag, the false flag operation on the 7th have died in Jerusalem. But we are seeing it greater now on the other side. But based on what the Lord is saying, my brothers and sisters, what we are seeing now on the other side, brace yourself. We are going to be witnessing it on the other side also. If it was not so, the Lord would not be telling the people to leave. 
The Lord would not be instructing those who are within the city to leave. My God Almighty. Verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. <clears throat> all things including what the Lord said recently in Jeremiah 35. Because Israel and Judah have not hearkened to the voice of the Lord. The Lord says he's going to bring evil. No, 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 no. Hear, 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 hear this. In verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land. And wrath upon this people. <clears throat> And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. My brothers and sisters, until Jerusalem. Hear this. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. <coughs> Until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. What does this mean? This means. Until. The. End. Until the, the, until the end of grace. Until the end of the grace period. And if we're going to be talking about the end of the grace period. Then we're talking about the taking away of the saints. Until. Until. It is over. Grace is over. And as I said, I have to ever continue a video because I have some very deep stuff that I just don't want to do one video. So this was prophesied by Jesus. That Jerusalem is going to experience a sword in our generation. We have seen it. We have read about it in the past. But we have never witnessed it with our eyes. My God Almighty. God help us. And so the Lord is saying... <clears throat> This will continue until the, 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 the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Now, there's a spe specific word that is used in one of these verses. That I'm going to say for the other video. Because I want us to look deeper. Because you see, there's a lot of division. And when you speak, there's a lot of offense at this time. Because there's something in the mind of many believers. That this present state of Israel, God is going to defend from the foundation up. And that's deception, my brothers and sisters. That's deception. Let us not forget the God of the beginning is the same God in the new. He has not changed. And when sinners reach its peak, and when the children of God or the people of God has turned away to other gods, For example, this present state of turn to 
science. Hope you understand what I just said. Follow the science. Accepted A. I and I. Hope you understand what I'm saying. From the leader right down, it was the first state in the world to turn to this new God. Don't be deceived, my people. My brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. Because what the Lord saw in the retrobites was complete obedience. What the Lord is seeing now in Judah and in Jerusalem is a total different thing. Let us also check our own lives, my brothers and sisters, concerning obedience. As Joshua says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And so may the Lord help us. Love you all very much, my brothers and sisters. Until the next video, stay blessed. Continue to pray one for each other. Follow the command of the Lord. Love one another. God bless you.